Our snap file was designed for fret work and it's got four different file teeth that'll do that. For beveling fret ends, leveling frets, leveling curl with this coarse razor cut. And I love this one and I have a use for it that has nothing to do with fret work and I'm going to show you. It's pretty cool. I clamp it into my repair vise and use it like a little joiner to clean up plastic bindings that I just made for a peghead job I'm doing. This is what binding looks like after it's glued and runs through the laminator and these strips were sized on the McCrosty binding jig first. I sized it to fit the body but now I'm going to shave some down smaller to bind the peghead really easily and it's very controllable. If I pull it straight across these teeth they're cut on a circular sharp pattern and it removes that glue in a second I'm also making the bottom 90 degrees. If you pull it across at a sharp angle, it takes more plastic off in a different way, depending what side you pull from. So here's a little tip. I made this little jig of wood that helps me guide it across at an angle. And you want to wear gloves when you do this because you can burn your fingers. Here's something that you might not have seen before. It looks like a jig for gluing binding, but it's actually going to be the peghead overlay with the binding already in it and an inlay. I cut away the excess and it's ready to glue on to the peghead. What I'm doing is fitting this binding down into this groove on a peghead overlay I'm making. And I'll have to take a few thousands off of it. Plus I want to square up the bottom and get rid of all that grunge. Yeah, that's more like it. Doesn't take much. I'm making this guitar, black walnut. What I'm showing you here is how I went about making this peghead overlay on a guitar that I'm making for a customer that's a tattoo artist. And he drew the tiger and gave me the picture and Don McCrosty put it into a CNC machine and cut all the pearl and then engraved it. And he also cut all the channels that you see so I can come in with my binding and just glue it into the slots then cut away the excess and I have a beautiful peg head overlay.